Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 4. A stormy wind blew from the north, a great cloud with light around it, a fire from which flashes of lightning darted, and in the centre a sheen like bronze at the heart of the fire. In the centre I saw what seemed four animals. Verse 15. I looked at the animals. There was a wheel on the ground by each of them. The wheels glittered as if made of chrysolite. Their rims seemed enormous. Verse 28. It was something that looked like the glory of Yahweh. So a little bit of drama to wake us up. Now, that was Ezekiel's vision of God's chariot. And Watchtower has managed to interpret this to mean them. They say it represents God's earthly organisation, but does it? I don't know how Watchtower came to that conclusion, because if we look at Ezekiel chapter 2, we see that God is sending Ezekiel to the Israelites, to the rebels who have turned against God. And the next few chapters outline all the sins of the Israelites. And in chapter 9 and verse 9, God says, The guilt of the house of Israel and Judah is immense. The city overflows with wickedness. So what does it mean, this chariot? Well, if we have a look at Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 13, it says, look, he is advancing like the clouds, his chariots like a hurricane, his horse is swifter than eagles, trouble is coming, we are lost. The chariots here are the king of Babylon coming with all his forces against Israel to execute God's judgments. Trouble is definitely coming. So the chariot would always represent war. Now, in Isaiah 66, this is a little clearer. Verse 15. For see how Yahweh comes in fire, his chariots light the tempest, to assuage his anger with burning, his threats with flaming fire. For by fire, Yahweh will execute judgment. So it appears that this chariot has come to Ezekiel to represent God's judgment and to execute his vengeance on the nation of Israel for their sins. So I looked it up in some commentaries, and this is what they had to say, that the storm of the Lord comes from the north, and they say it's common for prophets to represent divine judgments coming from the north. The fire is indicative of God's avenging justice, because as it says in Deuteronomy 4, God is a consuming fire. The cloud represents that God is invisible. The whirlwind, which is a violent and turbulent storm, represents God's indignation and judgment. There's no mention here of an earthly organisation. Now, the Israelites were punished partly because they had profaned God's name badly. And Watchtower has done similarly with their man-made rules and all the harm they have done, which has caused governments to say to them, look, you are breaching human rights. They have profaned God's name, Jehovah, badly. So much so that I can't use Jehovah's name because it hurts people so much. So if the chariot gets anywhere near Watchtower, it's to execute God's judgment against their profanity. So is there any hope at all? Well, of course there is. In Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2, it says that Yahweh is the God of our salvation. We trust him now and have no fear. Yahweh is our strength, our song, our salvation. It talks in verse uh, 5, to sing of Yahweh, for he has done marvellous things. We can be safe within the wings of our dear father, far away from his avenging chariot. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you all.